Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use our online finding aid. The online finding aid is a powerful search tool and there are different ways of searching. You can do a keyword search that will generally search through all the descriptions that are on here or we can do a systematic search. Remember this is not the catalog for our books, there's a separate book catalog and you can find that when you click here on search library collection. Um, and, of course, not everything has been catalogued yet, or some of the finding aids are not ready to be uploaded to the online finding aid. So actually, there's a little bit more out there than we have on the online finding aid, but um, there's still quite a lot here uh, that you can find through our online finding aid. I'm interested in, um, in, in a name, Schmick, and I already entered it here in the search box. And when I hit search, it tells me there are 44 hits. And I can click here and see all the results in a list. So there's a diary, there are letters, blah, blah, blah. That's um, 44 is a nice number, and you can go through these individual descriptions. But um, I see there are quite a few hits here in the uh, records. Uh, from the American Indians, and I already know about those. I'm more interested in those that uh, are outside that collection. And that helps me when I go over here in the navigation tree, I can see that there are two hits under congregations and 40 hits under missions in other provinces. That's probably, yes, I was right, that's the record of the Moravian missions to the American Indians. And like I said, I already knew about those. But um, I'm curious what I can find in personal papers and uh, under congregations. So when I click on personal papers, it tells me that the two hits are actually in the John Edwine papers. I click again, I scroll up a bit, and I see there's one hit under letters received by Edwine and one hit other documents relating to this period. Let's see what that is. So I hit Click that. And here is a short description on the right hand side. And if I, when I click that, I will get a little bit more detail. So, what do we have here? We have 33 letters under the name Schmick. They were written by Schmick because we're looking in the classification group of letters received by Edwine. So, under letters received by Edwine, there are 33 letters written by John Jacob Schmick. Uh, it's one folder, they're in German, and they're, the earliest one is from January 19th, 1768, and the last one is from May 15th, 1776. So these are all uh, written in that time period. I want to see what that other hit was, so I click here, and it opens up here, letter, Schmick, certifying deputies from Christian Indians to John Penn. Let's see what that is. Okay. Um, but now I see under comment that it's missing. There are other things that I found. I found that up under congregations there were hits. So I'm scrolling back up. And now I want to see what those hits are. And they're here under Pennsylvania, Bethlehem. There's one hit under Bethlehem Congregation, and there's one hit under Bethlehem Single Sisters. Let's see what there is under Bethlehem Congregation. Okay, click on this, and we are looking at the Diary of the Bethlehem Congregation, Volume 11. That's from the year 1752, and under Content, it shows us what we find under the supplements to the diary. And here, under February 1752, there's a letter from Schmick from February 15, 1752. If I want to look at this particular one, what I write down is the number 11. And I need to uh, tell the archivist which record group that is. So here I see Bethlehem Congregation, number 11. That is that diary that... I want to look at. And on page 139, that's where I find the letter by Schmick. 
There are other ways of searching, and I'm going to show you that now, and that's a more a systematic search. And that will go through this navigation tree. Let's close that navigation tree. I'm going here. I clicked home. And um, for example, I'm interested in the finances of the girl, uh, school for girls, the female seminary in Bethlehem. And um, if I do a, a keyword search and I enter finance or ledger or journal, I will just get way too many hits. And in this case, it makes much sense to do a systematic search. So I'm interested in the finances of the boarding school for girls, the female seminary in Bethlehem. In the navigation tree, I choose educational institutions. And here I see FEMSEM, records of the female seminary. And when I click on that plus here on the um, left-hand side, it will open up the, the categories within that collection. But before I do that, on the right-hand side, I see an interesting description of the collection. It tells me the abbreviation, the inclusive dates, how much there is. It's a large collection, 81 um, feet, a linear feet. And there's a short history of the school. Where do these records come from? Uh, they're mostly in good condition. And all this information is important for our research. Okay, so I was looking for financial records, and I will find these either under finances and assets or bookkeeping. Um, let's try bookkeeping. And it opens up even further. We see this various categories of financial books that are in the collection. There are annual statements, there are ledgers, there are journals, bill books, cash books, day books. I'm going for a general description, so I'm going to Sir, um, select ledgers. And here we see that there are a total of nine ledgers and I can choose the period that I'm interested in. So let's say I'm interested in the finances from um, 1820, so that should be covered in this book. I click on it and here I have the description. Um, it tells me a little bit more detail, for example, that the back cover is loose. Um, it's in English, so that's helpful. And um, when I go to the archives, I can request number nine from the record group FEMSEM, Records of the Female Seminary, Moravian Boarding School for Girls. So it was important to have that number together with the record group. I can also do other searches. For example, um, if I want to see what we have from the Revolutionary War in Bethlehem. Again, I go to the navigation tree. I close this up and I go to Congregations. Bethlehem is in Pennsylvania. There we have Bethlehem. And uh, I see there are various collections relating to the Moravian Church in Bethlehem. There's the Bethlehem Congregation, there are the Deeds, the Bethlehem Single Brothers, Bethlehem Single Sisters. Well, let's do Bethlehem Congregation. And again, a uh, navigation tree opens up for this particular collection and I can go through that to see how things are grouped. We have minutes, we have correspondence, we have diary. These are all very general categories so I expect to find things on the Revolutionary War under um, these categories. But when I scroll down I see extraordinary circumstances and let's see what that is. And here I see there is a special category, Revolutionary War. So I click on that, and I see there are actually two items in here. Order, signed by members of Congress, protecting the Moravians in Bethlehem, especially the women from any disturbance and violation of their homes. And also letters written by Bishop Edwine regarding demands by the Continental Army on the inhabitants of Bethlehem. So these two items are grouped under the category Revolutionary War. I want to look at those but I should also look at the more general uh, material. Uh, when I go to diary, for example, I would want to select the diary from the years of the war, and I have them here. So you see there are different options for searching in the online finding aid. You can do a general keyword search. Very helpful when you're looking for a name, you have no idea where the name might appear. 
And then there is a, a systematic search. And the systematic search will take a little bit more time, but um, you can narrow down your search much better in the systematic search.